going to start right now. Welcome everyone to Deanne Fitzpatrick Studio. It's our Thursday live video and I think this must be around edition 70 or something like we've done this about 70 times and there's Lorna she's doing live on Instagram. Here's Angela she's going to take over the camera soon. There's other there's the rug I'm working on and that we're going to talk about today. Roberta Sharp is watching. Thank you Roberta for being there. I'm glad that you're there. Um uh ingrid taylor is watching ingrid watches faithfully thank you ingrid kathy croft from dartmouth nova scotia and burton from kingston ontario so people are coming in and uh, we're just getting ready for what we're going to talk about today and uh, i'm going to pass this over to angela and i'm going to say hello uh to angela hi angela hi. okay let's go hi. back there i'll give you that oh i guess you need it that way don't you so I'm just going over a few of the things that we're going to be talking about today. And I don't have a big list today. Uh, last Some weeks we have so many things. And, and this week I just want to focus on the hooking. And uh, uh, I want to show uh, some water in my new rug. And um, I am working on a project. We're going to keep this one uh, under wraps yet. So because that is part of our online winter course that we're getting ready for. So I'm going to... I need a piece of wool to throw over that because I'm just not ready to show you that yet. I'm going to hide that, but I am getting ready for an online winter class. So, uh, put a piece of uh, linen over that. So, we're going to start today with my hooking right here. And I'm going to pull up my frame. I'm using, I'm working on my long frame. So, I, this is the one I showed you yesterday. And we did have some long rods in stock. We sold them both. Joe is putting them on the website, so we will be getting more. Uh, John is going on vacation, but uh, if you want them, there's a there's about a six week turnaround time, so the long rods are available, the six foot rods. So what I'd like to do now is I'd like to think about the water in this rug, and I sort of see this water being really dark and really solid, and so I'm going to pick out my right blue and. Uh, I'm not sure what that blue is, but I feel like I'm going to be like with Masham Boucle or like this nice deep blue slob. I sort of feel like these are the colors that I'm using and that I just want the water to be really dark and deep. And I can sort of see it's going to be out here. But then I think if I do that, what's going to happen to the green on my tree? So I have to decide. I'm going to have to take my earrings out. I can see that because they're rattling on my. Can you, you can probably hear my That's earrings as well as you can hear me. Um, these earrings I bought at the Art Gallery of Nova Scotia gift shop. And uh, okay, so then I'd have to think. So there are, there are always considerations, right? So this is all the work that I got done this week. Of course, I could go lighter up here. Hmm, tricky, 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 tricky. But I feel like that's what I want. So I'm going to take a chance, and I think that green will show up enough. Maybe I'll just have to use a lighter green on the bottom. So with this water, I want it to be flat and smooth and even. So I'm just going to, I've got lines. You can see they're really straight across. So I'm just going to sit and hook with you guys today a little bit. And I'd recommend that you guys get out your hooking too and uh, sit and hook with me. And let's have a little chat. So I have a book in the works. And the book is called Meditations for Makers. What does that mean to you guys when I say that? Like, what does that sound like? Meditations for makers. Just curious. Do we have do we have people watching on both channels? We do, yeah. Yeah? What what does it sound like? Meditations for makers. This is a book that I'm it's gonna be coming out in the fall, I hope. What's the idea of a maker? Like, who's a maker? How we get lost in a meditative state. Yeah, we do. What we think about while we're in that state, right? 
Any response on Facebook, Angela? Not yet. Not yet. Okay. Not seeing any comments from you guys on Facebook, but that's okay. Well, Meditations for Makers is a book of very short meditations, and there are thoughts about what I what I think about is important for a maker. And when I say a maker, you might be a rug hooker, you might be a quilter, you might be a writer, but we all get in that sort of flow zone, that space where, you know, time, we don't know, you know, like, like it never occurs to me to go get a bowl of chips when I'm in the middle of a rug. Does it, you guys? Like, do you ever say, like, you're in the middle of your rug hooking and you think, I think I'll go get a bowl of chips. I tend to get in a flow, which is really nice. Yeah. Like a flow state almost. Right. And I think that's my meditation. Yeah. I feel that's like meditative. it's meditative. Sorry. It's meditative. Yeah. I feel like that too. I get into this state where, like, I think, Lorna, you get like that when you're mowing the lawn. Yeah. <laughs> you do. Yeah. Right. Or when you're walking to town. Right. It happens sometimes when you're walking. See how these blues are almost exactly the same. And I'm kind of liking that. I just want this water to be really kind of still. That there's no danger of this house falling in on that cliff. And I love how the slobby goes thick and thin and thin and thick. That's the nice thing about slubby. Slubby yarn is on our website if you're interested. And it's called slub because of the way it's spun. It goes thick to thin, thick to thin. So I'm going to put the slubby down here too. I think I'm going to put the slubby as the first, the first entryway to the water. Someone said they almost have an out-of-body out of experience. I get it. I know, exactly. And I yeah. have uh, clarity about my thoughts. Yeah, I and get the, that. Dreamland. Yeah. Thank you. I. That's really a good, like, it's kind of almost, I don't know about you, whoever said that, but I almost feel like it's kind of hard to admit, like, where you get to, because you're... You know, you, you, it is feels like you're not right with it and that whatever it is you're doing is just kind of coming through you, you know. You just get a really lost. And it's a beautiful kind of lost. Like it's like being lost in, you know, it's you're enchanted when you make. So one of the things I haven't been asking you to do is I haven't been asking you to share these videos. I've forgotten. And I just want to tell you how important it is to me that you share the videos. And because when you share rug hooking, you're sharing that enchantment. You're sharing that uh, space where people can go, where they can be peaceful and comfortable and really themselves. And that's like a big deal. It's a really important thing to share. So I just hope that you will continue to share these videos with your friends and, uh, and that we continue to pick up new rug hookers and that we share this craft with others. Oh, look at this. This is so deep and so solid, but it is so blue. Like it's not, it's not lost for navy. You know, you're not going to mistake this for navy. These deep blues. Oh, they're gorgeous. So I'm wearing my Create Beauty Everyday Charm Bracelet. I love it. I don't have my earrings in today or my necklace on, but I have them both. And I just love this bracelet. I love the way it hangs. It's very feminine. It's pretty. And um, it was sold out on the website, but we talked to the supplier and they are able to make us more. And so I have added more to the website if you're interested. In the And Angela came up with a new product this week. I'll show you that after. But for now, let's get this water hooked. So are others, do others of you experience different feelings when you're making? I'm just wondering. Wondering if others experience. It's a euphoria. It's a kind of a euphoria. Oh, what a beautiful word. It's so nice. Yeah. And you get that euphoria too when you finish. You know, when you finish something really beautiful. So where are people visiting from today? What cities are you all in? Where are you making today? Kansas. Kansas. Maine. Yeah. I love your haircut. Oh, it's just, I straightened it. I'm getting a lot of hair comments too. I'm getting a lot of hair comments. I straightened it out. I just, 
you got to reinvent yourself every once in a while. I bought a new dress over at 30 Church, and I straightened my hair. And uh, I'm really thinking a lot about how we are in our midlife and how, you know, we start, I don't know. I just don't want to get, I don't want to get, I just want to hang on to my swagger. <laughs> <laughs> talk more about that later <laughs> Boston Boston Washington. oh wow you got all the cities I got Delaware oh. Iowa oh my that's so all nice. right Judith I'm gonna try this Kamaraska oh Kamaraska in Where's Quebec that? it's a beautiful oh, okay. place I've been to Kamaraska it's gorgeous there Texas Cynthia's from Texas San Antonio we got France, of course. We've got Hakon from Norway. Oh, hi, Hakon. Hakon is interviewed in our Create uh, Creative Spirit course. There's a free course online that we promised that we'd have for you in early June, and it's there. And it's a free course on creativity and the whole spirit of creativity, which, you know, like rug hooking is really important to me, but I, I would say equally important is creativity and the spirit of that goes with rug hooking because it's not really about, for me, it is about making rugs. Yes, I want to make rugs. I want to make them beautiful. But it's, honest to gosh, it's not so much about the rugs as it is the process of making the rugs. That, to me, is where the magic is. And so that's what this next book that I'm writing is kind of about. It's about, uh, and there's tons of sketches in my next book. There's not, it's not going to be pictures of rugs. It's going to be just little line drawings um, in the background with the words. And that's going to come out in December, I hope, or sometime before then. And it's published by Nimbus Publishing. But to me, yeah, equally important is that whole idea of making. And we, we focus so much of, in the harbor on that. I think with that, look how beautiful this is. Now, let's just look at the solidness. How you don't need much variegation in color. You just need, like, gentle, gentle. So why did you decide to go with the house, Deanne? Last week you were um, playing with a few things. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. It just felt right. It just, when I put that moose up there, uh, one woman did say after, when you put a creature there, it's sort of, talked about the fragility of of our environment and stuff and I, and I agree with her so I'm definitely going to do one with a creature in it but this one I just kind of wanted um so I grew up in a family and there were seven of us right but by the time I came along all my sisters had pretty much moved out my well one stayed around for a while but I hardly remember her in the house um and there was just me mom and dad so I kind of feel like these are all, I don't know, reflections. And then, so this would be me in a way. And I'm in between. I'm in the middle, hopefully. Not too near the end. I'm, hopefully I'm still in the middle. Um, and I just felt like the house was a nice, firm kind of structure that I wanted to deal with. I didn't want on this long space. I just, you know... Visually, I didn't want an animal up there. I just wanted this. You see this? See this, how this is a diamond? Uh, this is a triangle, and then this is a triangle, and just visually, they kind of made sense to me, like how these areas are triangles. And what I did here was I outlined everything in this dark, dark wine really thinly, and then I used, uh, Sharon was here a few weeks ago, Sharon Oakley, and I used her hand spun, which we do sell for the inside the lines, and then I used fossil cliffs for in between the lines, and a little bit of, uh, this is um, one of Angie's art, art series, I forget the name of it, I'm not sure, but I love that yarn, I love that greenish yarn, so that's, this is what I'm going to hook today is this water, but this is what I've done so far. And I'm just going to, you know, it's going to take me a while to make this rug. This is a big, big piece. Um, I want to show you some of the yarns that we have out here. Um, uh, come with me. I'll just show you. We've got some sugar bush yarns. And sugar bush chill is something that we don't always have, but these are duos. 
So we have like this duo, which is Beaufort Sea and Fire in the Sky. And look at that, aren't they great together? Well, that, would, that is a great, those are great sunset yarns, especially this Beaufort Sea. This is a Scarlet, and the duo with the Scarlet is Polar Berry. I love the name. So this is like great if you were doing Blueberry Fields or Tundra, right? Um, this is Arctic Frost, and it's paired with Frosty Sea, and they go together. You can see the colors. What happens with these yarns is the color in this is also in the multi one. And then we have Imperial and Arctic Sky. But this Arctic Sky, to me, like if you were doing irises or flowers or land, I'm just going to grab a little bit of that. I'm going to grab a couple of these and show you what they hook like. I won't actually use them in my in my rug, I don't think, but I just want to show you what chill hooks like so that you know. So I'm just gonna take a little bit here. So Ingrid Taylor received Greg's Gray and really loves it. Oh, does she? And Greg is watching. So Greg is watching out from, there. From out Greg the usually room. watches because afterwards he comes in and he tells us something usually right afterwards. Yeah. Greg is a good dyer, that's for sure. So this is, this is Arctic Sky. Now, Yes, it can be Arctic Sky, but I can just see this in a field. So I'm going to just hook it in this field and see what it looks like. So you bring your end up. Look at that. Oh, wow. It just does wow. all the work for you, right? It's just amazing. So that's Arctic Sky, and that's what that looks like. So we don't have a ton of any of these, just so you know. So that's Arctic Sky. And then let's try Polar Berry. I love polar berry because, I, you know, this kind of reminds me of my bake apple picking days, which were a long time ago. I'm going to get the end of this, sorry. Let's see what polar berry hooks up like. So this is polar berry. And all of these variegated chills hook up the same way. And they're nice and big. Oh, this would be perfect for blueberry fields. Oh, I love it. And then you just add some plum in there with it if you want it. So there's two samples of that. And I find chill for the price of it. Like I think, I don't know, these might be $14.95. I can't remember. But for the price of it, it... There's a lot of yarn on here, and it's very much like this is a Rasta, and this is a Chill. Now, Rasta has a little sheen that Chill doesn't have, but they're very much, they hook very much the same way. So, and then this is Chill in a solid. I'm going to bring that down here and just, and it blends, it's blending well in with the other yarns I've got here. And that's the Rasta in a solid. Hooks up great, simple, easy, nice yarns. So we do have those in stock today. And I just want to, before you go, Angela put, Angela created, we're taking Create Beauty every day. And as you know, we're working on products for it. And so this is our Create Beauty Every Day bag. And we have a limited number of these right now. Um, but it has, it's a heavy duty duct canvas. It's got a pocket in it. And I mean, I feel like this bag... I don't know. I feel like I wear this in the city. Like, I like it. I'd wear this mm. anywhere. Like, I, I really like the bag. I'll just show you the inside. It's nice and big on the inside. I love the zipper closure. And I love the zipper closure on the top, too. Um, so, it's a great looking bag. And we have that. Um, I think they're $34.95. And they're good size. They're about uh, 18 by 16. I think something like that. So, that's our new product. We try to have a new product for you every couple of weeks. Lately, we've had lots of new products because we're working on a new line uh, because we just think that Create Beauty Every Day is really important. And you notice that we put periods, Create Beauty Every Day. We just changed it up a little. We're just having... Black, right? uh, there, we only have white and black. Yeah, that's the only color that we have. And uh, we're going to be doing this more and more and playing with it because really, like I said, the thing that's important to me is not just hooking rugs and making the rugs is the process of making the rugs and creativity is just such an important part of life um, 
uh, once a woman visited me and she was like in her 80s and she said the beautiful thing about creativity is it doesn't get old. It's always new. So uh, enjoy, enjoy your week. I'll see you next week. I'm looking forward to you. If you're not on my newsletter list, please join. Remember about our free course and remember to share the video because when you share rug hooking, you might be sharing enchantment. You might be sharing friendship. You might be sharing um, how, to, how to be alone with yourself. You might be sharing this beautiful ability to create beauty every day. And Joe will get the phone. I know he will. See you guys. Thank <laughs> you for watching. It's just such a nice day. See ya. Was it short? Yeah, it's like, huh. 222. Hold on.